XML feeds link your webshop to other channels, such as Google Shopping, uh, affiliate networks, or trade trackers, uh, and they are used in the Amazon integration as well. In this video, I'll explain how to create and configure these feeds. Go to webshop, and on the left, you can select XML feeds. This page shows you all the feeds you've already created. And of course, we haven't got any feeds yet. However, you can see a yellow box on top of the page. There are two links included. The first one is the Google feed, which you can use to link your website with the Google Search Console. The Google feed includes all the pages on your website and webshop. The second one is used for the affiliate network called TradeRacker. If you're using TradeRacker as your affiliate network, you can just use this standard link. However, in this course, we're going to explain you how to set up bespoke XML feeds. So let's click on add and move forward. First of all, you need to give your XML feed the title. And let's assume you're setting up a feed for your Facebook page. So we call the feed Facebook. We get three options over here. The price, the brands, and the categories we want to include or exclude. Let me explain that. We can include all the items from 10 till 1000 pounds, for example. You can include or exclude specific brands. And the same applies to the categories. So if you want to have all your house plants from 10 pounds till 1000 pounds, you can select include and find your house plants category over here on the right hand side. The other way around, if you want to have a feed with everything apart from your plants, just exclude categories and select plants over here on the right. This allows you to set up feeds which are matching your exact requirements. You can also set up multiple feeds for, for example, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and so on. And if you want, you can even link multiple feeds to one Facebook account. Let's scroll down. There are three more options. The first one is the minimum stock amount. Let's assume you have two items left in stock and you probably will sell them anyway. So you don't want to use a third party advertising network, spend a lot of money getting people to a specific product which you only have two left in stock. So in that case, the minimum stock can be three. Now bear in mind the minimal stock amount doesn't change anything on the website. So let's assume the minimum stock on your website is one and on the feed it's three. If that's the case, the product will be available on your website. However, we won't include it on the feed if the stock falls to three or lower. The next tick box says if we need to include always order of products. As you remember from one of the previous courses, you can flag items as always orderable. And if it's flagged that way, we don't take any stock into account. So if you want to include that, just tick the box. The last option is the action appearances. Why does that matter? Let's say you're linked to a POS system and you're using action appearances to show multi-buys and promotions. You might not want to advertise your promotions on third-party networks because the margin is low on those products and the clicks can be pretty expensive. In that case, you want to exclude your action appearances. The other way around, perhaps you want to create a feed with all your promotions. In that case, you need to include all the action appearances. Now, whenever I'm talking about promotions, I do mean that we only include products which are having an action appearance at that moment. So bear in mind, if you create a promotion or an offer on your website, be sure to have an action appearance because that's the only thing we look at for the product feeds. Once you're ready, just click on save. As you can see, the first feed is available over here. It might be tempting to start using this feed at the same time. However, it doesn't work that way. We need two to three hours to generate the feed to prepare it for your first time usage. So grab a coffee or something else to drink, come back in a few hours, and then you can use this link on your Facebook page or any other website you want to link to. And again, you can create as many feeds as you want. So for the next one, just click on add. You normally set up feeds once, 
the feed itself is automatically provided with the correct and up-to-date information. In the next video, we will talk about one of the most sold products on web shops of garden centers, the digital gift card.